Okay, in this video, we'll be configuring NetWeaver Business Client 5. Uh, it's a free software that's included with SAP GUI 7.4 and newer. So uh, in our previous video, you can see how we installed it and stuff. In this video, we're just going to do the configuration part. So version 5 is a little bit different than version 4 and version 3.5 in that it automatically picks up the, your SAP GUI details, logon details. So it's, it'll bring you to this page usually. You know, it doesn't let you create uh, a new setting. So we're going to go into systems and that brings you to this page where you can create a new system. But before we do that, we have to personalize this, make some changes. We're going to hide system selector. We have to uncheck that. Otherwise, that's the system selector page won't come up. Second thing is we're going to use our favorites as a work center. So it looks uh, uh, a little bit different and uh, more, more user friendly. So before we configure this, we have to make sure our service is running fine. So you go into ID, ADMI, and log into your uh, user. Okay, I have one running here. Okay, and uh, SMICM is the function that or the, the service it uses. So you have to make sure that your HTTP service is running fine. Click go to services, shift F1 and see my HTTP service is running at port 8080. So if yours is not running or if it's showing port 0, you can go in and change it by changing it or by creating a new one. Many corporates require you to run on HTTPS, but since we're using it for training and uh, and uh, not at a production level, we're just going to use HTTP. The second reason why I'm not using HTTP is because we don't have our, this computer does not have an SSL certificate. So there is no reason to use HTTPS. Uh, the second thing to do is just bind it to your host name, which is this, or whatever host name you're running, and change the port to one, or make a modification for HTTPS. And if you make any changes, make sure you restart the machine by clicking Administration, ICM, Restart. Okay. So if any changes are made, you have to restart the the ICM service. So once that's done, you go in, we have to select, uh, we have to activate our services, SICF, oh, SCIF, oh man, I always make this mistake. Okay, and uh, BC, part of basis, and NWBC. Okay, it'll bring you to this tree and uh, we have to activate the service. So my service is activated by default and it may be for you, but sometimes it's not. So you have to activate the service. Once you activate the service, you activate the subtree. Just make sure that the NWBC launch is working. See so test service, hello, and it will launch, okay? Now we will not log in here because we don't have a cockpit set up. This is the default cockpit of NWBC launch. We're going to set up a, a cockpit specific to to us. So go into user slash slash in su01 to your user id admin, and we're going to add some roles to it. Since this is an IDIS machine, there's tons of NDBC specific roles that comes packaged with the machine. WBC, and you can see there's tons of roles here, and you can add any of these roles. You know, uh, AII, Global ATP, all this stuff, logistics, ECC system, Easy Tool, CWM. And there are some custom Z roles that somebody created. I'm just going to use this role just, just to show you as to what to expect in this machine. I'm going to add this role to the machine and I'm going to add a profile where you can create and modify uh, your own quits. So, oops, cancel. I'm going to add okay this is where I can add and customize uh, custom cockpits in uh, in NWBC so once that's done I'm going to save this save ID admin okay and now I'm going to log in I'm going to log into my ID admin user here and you can see this is the, the cockpit that we created Okay, now we're going to save this, save this, this thing. So copy this. Okay, 
and we're going to come back to our NWD client and we're going to create a new service here next our application EH7 is is our system ID description is NWBC ECC CUC PIT cockpit okay and application service ECC HB7 URL is what we copied from that Corbus theme is going to be we don't want any of this stuff here okay client 800 and finish all right so that's our new system so now you log on to this system using ID DMI and IDES password log on okay cancel all exit that's our, our login from that previous page here and you can see how the work center looks purchase order opens everything in a new uh, new tab uh, you can again personalize this further you can personalize the look and feel of this by going into settings and personalize and uh, you can see theme font size all the stuff can be changed so so this is your NWBC again you can create custom cockpit add add uh, your own roles all that stuff so that's your NWBC so this is what uh, we've done and once again okay NWBC systems here so that's that okay I'll see you in the next video